This is Rich uh, 25 by 30 garage. This is uh, another one of my uh, recent acquisitions. This is a 1956 uh, Windsor four-door sedan, which has, was the most very common and most made uh, 56 Chryslers. But I mean, really and truthfully, a lot of them aren't left today. So this one survived. I, I bought this one out of Abilene, Texas. It was advertised on Facebook Marketplace for a long, long time, but I was unemployed and really couldn't afford it. So I was finally able to put the funds together to go buy it. But the uh, the price got about over the year uh, that it was on posted on Facebook Marketplace actually went up and not down so it actually went up a, quite a bit like six hundred dollars but it's here it's complete very solid I originally thought about using this as a parts car but uh, I think this will be uh, saved to be a runner uh, I don't have a title for it I got a bill of sale so but uh, anyway we'll do a little walk around. <laughs> on it you can see the the front end here uh the plates say i believe that's probably about a 1975 right there is last time it was tagged well it could be 75 and then they had stickers after that so but anyway here's a little little repair on the grill i'll keep that there I kind of like when people do that stuff they find a way to fix stuff you know it's not perfect and the car's not perfect either so but uh and they did it the same thing over here on the headlight bezel they, they fixed and repaired that did put some pop rivets in it yeah let me, let me open up the hood here the hood ornament's like perf perfect pop the hood so amongst the uh, rat's nest in there, I have to clean all that out. Um, and aftermarket AC, and it's complete. So I believe this is a Frigidaire unit, aftermarket AC. Yeah, the, uh, the it's held on by the to the inner the dryers, whatever that is, the dryer. It's held on by a muffler clamp on the on the fender well. I have not seen if this thing is stuck or not. The engine, the engine, all this stuff looks pretty good. It's a two barrel carb. And I uh, see how they notched out the uh, fan shroud for uh, fitting the pulleys for the AC. And all the stuff's up here. There's the, all this AC stuff is up here. And all the whole pile of rat turds, mouse turds. And this has the cloth wiring, so really and truthfully, this has bare wires all over the place. So basically, if, if you want to even start or even doing this stuff, you, you, you got to rewire it. That's the only way to do it. And so, uh, does it have power steering? Yeah, it has power steering. This is the power steering pump right here, a reservoir and power steering pumps behind the generator right there. Now it's kind of interesting. This thing had manual brakes, so they they added this Bendix brake booster. These were used on uh, Fords and uh, uh, Cadillacs. This brake booster. So that has some core value in, in it, but I may just I may just have it rebuilt and put it right back on, just because it was with the car. So and then uh, here's the Chrysler script. Look at that. Of course, the antenna was busted off. These these here, the wiper pivots are frequently uh, stuck. These ones are actually working. So let's go looking. Uh, both uh, well, no, it looks like this window's here. Oh man, I should have rolled it up. Anyway, going in the inside, you can see the uh, under dash AC unit right there. All the controls and everything are there. Uh, the radio is still there and intact. Glove box needs a new dash pad. And it has a uh, two speed transmission.
I do have another steering wheel that I can use. The steering wheel horn ring is busted. Okay, so basically the only major rust on this car is a rocker panel right there. So otherwise it's 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 rust free underneath. And you can see all the mouse and everything living in here, mice. Here's the missing the missing door handle for the other side. I don't know if it looks like it's been busted. Yeah, it's broken off. These are held on. These are frequently jacked. It's only held on by two screws. That one there and that one there. That's it. And you can see the pit went right through the or they might have drilled it or a pit went through there. But that's all they're held on to by is this and this. And so when they frequently break, actually when you have to pull it in the pivot points over here and they crack like right through here. So, you know, this might be might be usable. I have to see, I have to get that out, see if I can get that piece out of there. And see if it's, uh, cause I don't see that it's cracked or anything like that. So that's still here. I wonder if this window will roll up. Yep, there we go. There we go. So that's good. I thought that window was completely gone, so I started looking here. And you can see the this one's busted out, and then the, the passenger side window's busted out. So um, right there's the original battery hold down, right there, and I have all four hubcaps right there. And up underneath this thing is solid. I mean, it, it really is. It's solid. So I haven't, like I said, I haven't gotten in here. See, that's what, that's the, what happens when you pull, you know, the window's busted out. And you don't cover it when the rain gets in there and everything. So. But that should be an easy repair. And these these horn rings... There should be a whole ring around this thing in the, on the horn ring. So they, they're like a thousand or so dollars on eBay. And uh, I, I have one that I can use for this car and a steering wheel. I've got to look at the... <clears throat> Somebody thought this car was a 1951 when the guy I bought it from was at an auction. So, yeah, as you can see, down in here, there's nothing that's all solid. I don't know. All the fenders are solid and everything. I got, I got the tire underneath there in case that tire goes flat that it won't uh, uh, be flat on the bottom. As you can see, the gap in the windshield rubber goes straight out goes straight inside i believe this piece this chrome piece is there if not i can get the one off the new yorker parts car and throw on there i don't think i can open the door oh yeah it'll open anyway this kind of happens whenever they left the window busted open i really haven't had a chance to explore around in here so eventually Coming up, I'll get the seats out of it. I had a rear seat, seat speaker too. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it might be. It'll need to be reconed and stuff like that, but hopefully it's there. But otherwise, I mean, you can see the hole that's right there. It's kind of interesting and it rusted from the, the top down, but the, but the inner rocker and the uh, outer rocker is good. It's just that, that top piece right there rusted. So I don't know what, what happened there. see the quarter yeah these are tires off my other 56 Chrysler going to backside awesome 
the backup lenses are still there the, the taillight lenses are gone so on both sides people like to frequently like I guess they're a big target and uh, more of the Chrysler emblem back there you can see on that side too but all the all the chrome trim and everything there is there and it's in really nice shape this needs to be cleaned up I mean it's not show car perfect as you can see this had some damage on the side it's got some Bondo down here but it's not rusted it's lift up under the trunk so this is a uh, transmission I got with the New Yorker purchase I had. The guy threw it in. This is, this is a two-speed, and no, nobody's going to really buy it. I mean, to be honest with you, the torque flight will be about eleven thousand. I mean, a thousand dollars if you buy it. And it's got the original jack. It's got the battery, the tire hold down right there. The only trunk floor rust is right, right there. Just a little tiny, about a, probably about a six-inch area. Otherwise, the whole trunk floor is solid. <clears throat> As you can see, the inside, look at that. That's the trunk floor. That's the trunk extensions. And that's even on both sides. And you can see. And then there, the trunk lip is all but perfect on it. <clears throat> So this side has had some damage because there's some putty. It's not rust, it's just putty. So, and all the chrome trim and everything is here. Here's where the missing door handle went. The door handle has a, presses against this lever right here. And if you don't keep them lubed up, it, it, it busts. The handle will bust if you don't keep them latches lubed up. As you can see, it has a little light skim of putty right there, but it's no no rust. So, but otherwise, I think I would keep it like that. There's the other busted window, but the windshield in it's perfect all the way around. All right. Chrysler badge on the other side. Down here, the fenders are really, really nice. Like if I could jack this thing up on the other, on the look on top, that I mean, you would be amazed how clean the bottom is. I mean, they got that little rustle on the rocker there, but let's give you a top side view of the. Yeah, it's got some fresh mouse droppings and stuff like that in there, but it would be really fun to get this AC system working. You know, most AC systems really weren't used that much, but, you know, I don't know how much they used it back then, but to even find a 56 car with an AC unit like that, it's kind of amazing. And it's still, it's still intact. All right, 25 by 38.